and welcome to Tea from the Manor. I'm James and today I'm going to show you how we like to make the perfect cup of English breakfast tea. Firstly, choose your teapot. You can either use a teapot like this one, which has a infuser, or as I like to use, I have a nice Wedgwood teapot, but with this one, you're going to need a tea strainer. So take your preferred teapot, add some boiling water, and then warm the teapot through. And then we discard it. So now you add your tea. If you're using loose leaf tea, you need one per person and one for the pot. If you decide to use tea bags, there's nothing wrong with using tea bags, but just make sure the quality of the tea in the bag is the same quality as your loose leaf tea. Take your teapot and add the boiling water. Boiling water for black teas is perfect. It's very hard to gauge the temperature of tea as some people are quite precious about how hot the water should be. But boiling water for black teas is perfect. For white teas and green teas, you want it just coming off the boil so as not to scald the leaves. Then, you can pour your tea into your favorite cup. Because we're using loose leaf tea today, you're going to need a strainer. And then just pour the required amount. For Assam teas, uh, English breakfast teas and black teas, most people will take milk, but the lighter the tea, the less likely you are to use milk. In the early days, the quality of the china wasn't very good, so the reason for putting the milk in first was to stop the cups from cracking when you put the hot tea in. Later on, as the quality of the china got better, they started to put the milk in last, and that was just a way of showing people that they had a better china. Nowadays, you put the milk in last because then you can gauge the strength of your tea. You can always put more milk in, but you can't take it out. So thank you for listening, and this is how we make the perfect cup of tea here at Tea From The Manor.